Okay, so I did something really stupid. See, it, I, I disenchanted v Volana's weapon while it was still equipped. That caused it to be destroyed entirely. Deleted. So she's just gonna have to uh, be thankful that the game still lets her shoot even without a true bow equipped. Yeah, so hopefully I can find another bow somewhere else, whether it be in the next town or in, the, in, or in this dungeon. I can't believe I screwed up like that. Wait, was that this it? Yes. Once we cross through Gardor Cape, we'll be near Veritas. We won't have much longer to go then. Is there another desert on the other side? Not at all. It opens onto one of the beautiful mountain valleys Veritas is famous for. Finally, an end to this heat. Oh, is, this your sh is your shield no longer working? It's protecting me from the worst of it, but it's still hot out here. I think it feels rather nice. Why? It's so warm and comfortable. Much better than being up north. Gordor Cave might be dangerous. We should make camp here for tonight so we're rested. I brought blankets. That's fine with me. Oh. What? I'm already missing that comfortable in bed. If you want comfort, there's still time for you to turn back. No, I'll be fine. Let's just make that ca make camp. It's amazing how quickly the two of you got all this set up. I've had a lot of experience. I had classes on this. What, the Ashen Order trains people to build campfires and set up tents? Of course, you never know when you might end up on a long campa campaign out in the wilderness. Humph. What? You couldn't even cross the desert by yourself. You're definitely not ready for a long campaign anywhere. Hey! All you did was gather wood for the fire. Anyone could do that. Oh, please don't fight. Whatever. Well, I guess we should all get some rest. Yes, we need to have our wits about us for tomorrow. How can I sleep? The other night on the ship was one thing, but this, just just sleep out here, in a tent. That's different. It's been so long since I've gotten to sleep without the other squires around me. Headquarters has a sort of hum to it, even at night. You can hear people bustling about with or without permission. Or out here, it's just the three of us. I wonder if Ruby and Velana feel the same way. I have to pick one, huh? Hey, are you talking to me? Obviously, since Ruby just went to the tent. Something wrong? So, does it, are there multiple endings here? Just wondering what you're thinking about right now. What? Sorry, I don't mean to pry. You can't sleep, can you? I wouldn't say that. This is just a lot different from what I'm used to. I'll be fine. I'll just go. The Shadowborn. Huh? You asked what I was thinking about. Oh yeah, what Ruby told us sounded pretty serious, huh? Yes. Don't worry, as soon as I get that artifact back, I can return to the Ashen Order. I'll tell them all about the Shadowborn. They'll help, I'm sure of it. I didn't give you enough credit before. I apologize for that. What do you mean? When you mentioned training for this, I was rude. I shouldn't have said what I did. Oh, it's okay. For someone so new to this sort of thing, you're doing quite well. You're a good fighter, too. Thanks. That's the most positive thing I've ever heard her say about anyone. You're not used to camping out here like this, are you? Right, I've never done it before. What about you? I guess you must do this sort of thing all the time. Yes. I'll get used to it. You will. The loneliness will pass, too. Hey, I don't have to feel lonely. I've got you and Ruby with me. Heh. <laughs> good night, Celeste. You should get some sleep. Thanks for talking to me. Good night. I wonder what tomorrow will bring. Good morning, are you ready to go? You're awfully chipper this morning. I love mornings, especially when I might be able to track down one of the Shadowborn. Don't get so excited that you lower your guard, it'll be dangerous. I know. Well, if we're all ready, then I guess we should get moving. Okay, this cave. Do we get start near a save point or not? Yes, we do. So all we have to do is travel through here and we'll be in Veritas? That's right. Well, we won't be in Veritas, this will take us to the plains just outside the city. And don't forget, we've got to search for the mole men while we're here. Are you serious about this? Why not? Stranger things have happened. Is the secret society living underground really that different from the Shadowborn? You have a point there. This could be the big break I've been waiting for. Enough talk, let's go. See more golems up ahead. Hmm, so we really do have to look for mole men. A dead end near red flowers. This is only the first map. The second one may have what I'm looking for. Ah, what is it? Is something wrong? Yellow mushrooms. So what? Haven't you heard? If you eat five of the legendary guard or mushrooms, you gain super strength. There is no way that's true. Sure it, sure it is. I read in the book. They're colloquially referred to as magic mushrooms. 
If I get five of these yellow mushrooms and eat them, I'll be strong enough to stop Kilia and anyone else who gets in our way. This sounds suspicious. This has disaster written all over it. Okay, so... This is an actual freaking quest. Are you serious? Wow. I, I don't trust this quest. I feel like it's just gonna make her trip out or something. Anyways, first enemy mob. Whoa, that is a lot. That's intimidating. And there's already... What the heck is that? It's a fire version of those guys I fought in the desert. Oh no, bats too. These guys are annoying. Die. I really hope Valana can handle the bats without me. Because I really don't feel like dealing with them properly. Oh no, ah, there's still more. Ah. How many of these guys did we aggro? Man. I saw a mushroom. Gimme. It's two down. They are very bright and obvious. So hopefully I won't miss them. But... Please be... I also really want to find a bow. Or a st staff. Either one. What the heck is this? Oh! Oh, I see. I can climb ho there there are certain hidden paths for me. More mushrooms. More shrooms to get high on. Tag this mushroom. That makes 5. Why do you need to eat exactly 5 of it, five of it to work? Magic. That's not really how magic works. Are you seriously going to eat those? Why shouldn't I? They might be poisonous or make you hallucinate. This is a terrible idea. Hmm, but the rumor says these ones will give you super strength. I've never heard of magic like that, Celeste. Oh, I couldn't save before do making my decision. No. But I feel like the the result the this one will be really funny if I pick it. I'm eating these mushrooms, and that's final. Ah. Uh. It was nice knowing you. I'll um, heal you if anything terrible happens. Alright, get ready for the new and improved Celeste. Do you feel stronger? Are you seeing lots of colors? Urk? Celeste? Does it seem like the whole cave is moving? I feel... Celeste? Is she okay? I told you not to eat those things. Oh, I feel awful. I guess they really were poisonous. So much for super strength. There aren't any shortcuts to growing stronger, Celeste. You have to do it the old-fashioned way, for your own efforts. I guess that's true. I was hoping for a really funny, trippy uh, cutscene. Dang it. But, uh, you should focus on improving yourself, not looking for an easy way out. Ouch, you don't mince words, do you? She's right, though. Alright, no more shortcuts. I'll go stronger for my own efforts, and I'm never eating another mushroom as long as I live. Did that actually affect anything? <sighs> Seriously, do I get any... F I got some golden experience for it. I don't know if that was such a good idea. There doesn't seem to be any lingering effects, but still. Oh, finally! Advanced recurve bow, that's a really strong one. Yes. Look, red flowers! 
convenient of the so-called mole men to find a type of flower that only grows right outside their secret door. I bet it's a hidden sign for anyone who knows about them. I've heard of such things before. Usually it's something a little more straightforward, though, like three rocks in the shape of a triangle. Seriously, you call that straightforward? What do we do now? Tap on the wall three times, right? Yep, you can do the honor, Celeste. Yeah, how about I do that after I take care of these peons? Very well. How about Fee? Here goes nothing. I don't see any mole men coming out to greet us. I knew this was pointless. Wait, do you hear something? Something's squeezing through the crack between those stones there. Wait a minute, these are just random ass enemies. Holy shit, what did he just do? Ah. Oh, man, these guys are strong. Damn. Once I get past my shield, I am not very strong anymore, am I? The dragon's dead too. Hiya! One down, and one more to go. What? They're still here? Are you kidding me? Ah! 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 Holy shit, you guys! You need to get the hell out of here. Ha! Huh. Damn these laser guys. My party is useless. Oh my goodness. Ha! Oh, that takes care of your big... Uh, uh, your big dude. Just you peons left. Oh no! Snake! Oh, did it. So were those Molmen? Of course not. Those poor things probably just happen to have the den right here, and travelers who glimpse them start all this nonsense about underground societies. Hmm. Please don't tell me you still believe there are Molmen here. No, but I was just thinking. I wonder if the Shadowborn themselves contributed to the conspiracy theory. You mean the Shadowborn did things and then those stories got mixed up with the guard or cave stories to cause the Molmen rumors? Exactly. That makes sense. See, it was a worthwhile trip after all. If you say so. Oh, that was painful. My party friggin' died back there. And I had to use a few items. Oh. Some mana potions. Strong healing potion. Three of these laser shooters.
Armor of Life. So this one would regen hit points. Friendship Ring. What the heck is that? Plus Affinity. Miniature Dome. Ancient Dice. What? There's no boss? This is it. If we keep traveling in this direction, we'll reach for retest in no time. So I guess we have to explore a plane now. Let's hope we aren't too far behind Kilia. It's so beautiful out here. I never thought I'd travel this far from headquarters on my own. At least not until I... Until I had orders sending me here. Celeste? Sorry, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm sure we'll find that thief and everything will go back to normal. Through the mountains? The heck is... There's an event and a save point and a world map. What about the random encounters and tre treasure? Let's see a road. A r like, what the heck? I do see a chest, but as for enemies, my radar ain't picking anything up. Either they're not, there are no enemies, or they are all some kind of stealth experts, mold ninjas. I don't want to alarm anyone, but we're being watched. There's a knight back there who keeps looking our way. A knight? Do you think it's someone you know? Probably. I'd better find out before we move on. Yep, definitely gonna have to beat them down a peg. What the heck is that? You called this... A, 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 what? Seriously, where are you going? That way Lisa Elshire. We need to go north to Veritas. Oh, sorry. Hmm. Rosemary... I may actually have to fight him. Yup, it's Quinn. But if, as long as I spam my shield, I should be fine. Quinn? I can't believe you're here. Is this where you were sent for your initiation? No, I'm a, I already passed my initiation. I'm a knight now. Congratulations. Huh? I've never seen him act like this before. Is something wrong? How can you stand there and congratulate me? You're my friend. Why shouldn't I congratulate you? Sir Zacharias told me what happened. He told you I failed in my initiation. Yes. He also told me how you abandoned the Ashen Order. What? Oh, he didn't put it in, the, quite the, put in those words. He said you left on your own in the reckless attempt to be a vigilante. But that doesn't matter. It's the same thing in the end. How can you say that? We owe our loyalty to the Ashen Order. When Sir Zacharias told you to stay and await new, a new initiation, you should have listened. I couldn't just stand by and wait for other people to solve a problem I created. Hmph. Is that what you would have done? If you had failed your initiation, would you have just stayed there like a good little squire? Yes. I'm not like you, Quinn. I can't sit, uh, sit around when I could be doing something to help. Help? Is that what you think you're doing? Sir Zacharias was right to call you reckless. I... Squires are not supposed to choose their own missions. We have a chain of command to follow. Rules to obey. It's my fault the artifact was stolen. I'm going to get it back. Why? Because the retrieving it was my mission. No, why do you want to get it back? Is it really so, so someone else doesn't have to fix their mistake? Or do you just want to be a hero? Hmm. Which is the best answer? I want to fix my mistake. If that's really what you want, then go back to the Ashen Order. Why? Because that's what you were supposed to do. Sir Zacharias and the Yaris can handle it. You can help them bear from there. I'm sorry, I can't give up now. I was afraid you'd say something like that. Listen, Quinn, where are we arguing? You can help me resolve this. If you expect me to join your ridiculous, unauthorized, ill-advised quest, you've lost your mind. Well then, you could at least put in a good word for me with... Celeste, we've been friends a long time, but I won't get involved with something like this. What? I thought I could trust you. Of course you can trust me. What are you talking about? If you intend to continue with this, then you're a traitor to the Ashen Order. A traitor? You abandoned us. I did not. I'll come back as soon as I get the artifact. It's too late. You disobeyed orders and struck out on your own. I can't respect what you've done here even if Sir Zacharias believes your intentions were good. Quinn. Um, I take it this is a bad time to ask for an introduction? Hoomph. What just happened? So he left. Okay, good. We don't have to fight him. Yet. How could my best friend treat me like a traitor? Quinn. A, st a stickler for the rules, eh? Celeste, are you alright? Celeste? Sorry. Who was that? My friend Quinn. He and I were squires in the Ashen Order together. I'm sorry. Rita's is just up ahead. We shouldn't delay any longer. Volana. The sooner we find Kilia, the sooner uh, Celeste can re reconcile with her friend. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. 
I just need to get that artifact back, and then even if you do get it back, I don't think they're gonna let you back in easily. At best, you're just gonna be, have to become a mercenary like Milana, and then everything will be okay. Okay, we don't actually have to fight him, but the fact that he actually had a map strike to begin with, that is kind of suspicious, don't you think? It makes me think I will actually have to fight him at some point. Gold. A tiny amount of gold. Okay. Oh, what have we here? Mana fruit. Hmm, what's in here? Protector ring. Another common item. But yeah, I better be careful not to accidentally destroy my equipment again. I lucked out this- I lucked out because this time I managed to find a direct upgrade for Valana, but... Next time I will not be so lucky. I really don't want to ruin a good bow- the current good bow that I have right now. I- Seriously, no enemies at all. <laughs> look at this tree. So hollowed out. Did the developer not expect us to look at it from the top? I think they would have, like, tried to make a- uh, at least a little bit of a stump instead of having the bottom be grass there. Small plains. I wonder, if I go here, will I be able to find any- Will the enemies spawn at all? No. Still an empty plane full of miscellaneous treasures. Yup. Okay, now we go to Veritas and... Well, actually, no, we should head back to Ancora real quick to turn in my quests. You seriously don't have any new items. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hope Veritas has better items than you. Well, we investigated the mole menu rumor you told us about, and we found no sign of them, just some monsters that made their den there. There wasn't even a real mole. Oh, I don't know if that makes me feel better because the mole men aren't real, or worse, because they might have put those monsters there deliberately to trick you. Conspiracy theories never die, do they? Come on, everyone, let's get back on track. Okay, I'm pretty sure the rest of my quests require me to do stuff in... I do stuff in the... Uh, in uh, the new town, Veritas. Chenner's Hall, Veritas... Lost history is probably going to take even longer, a little free too. Morgan is go probably going to be Veritas as well. Veritas... I'm not sh uh, that's the area after Veritas. The next town after that one, yeah. Glad we can quick travel instead of having to go through all of this. Yeah, it's kind of kind of cool how every dungeon seems to be connected together like that. Well, most of them anyway. Here we are, the wonderful city of Veritas. Wow, it's so big. I've never been in a big city like this before. Hmm, Veritas isn't so great. Do you like anything, Valana? Hmm. I think it's fantastic. You would. Just ignore Valana. She has no sense of taste. I can't imagine how you can look around at all of this and not be impressed. This is only the beginning. There are such wonderful places to eat and... If you don't mind, we have a job to do. I'll give you the grand tour later, Celeste. Thanks. How will we ever find Kilia in a place like this? Hmm, maybe it's better if we tried to figure out where she's going. How? If she's really one of these Shadowborn, they must meet somewhere, and they must want the artifact for some purpose. Their only hope is to find the meaning place of a group so elusive most people don't think they exist? Great. The Academy might be able to help us, assuming they're not in on it. Academy? Yes, where I learned to use my magic. I've been conducting research there as well. Lorenzi has most esteemed Academy of Magic, and you've been using its resources to study a mythical organization? I'm surprised they haven't thrown you out for insanity. Oh, they've been very helpful. Sounds like that should be our next stop then. Follow me, it's right this way. Here we are, this is the Academy. Wow, I can really tell this is a place for people used to having magic around all the time. Our magic training feels like a shadow of what you could do in a place like this. Quinn would love it here. I can't wait to tell... Alright. You're in a fight with him. This wonderful place is responsible for making me who I am today. Now I know who to blame. What's that supposed to mean? Ruby. Yvonne. When you didn't return the other day, I started to get worried. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, as long as you're alright, that's all that matters. She looks kind of like... 
Kilia. Maybe they're related. Maybe Kilia's her long lost sister. I'm fine. In fact, I'm better than fine. You'll never guess what happened to me. It's the most exciting thing ever. Really? I was attacked by one of the Shadowborn. What? Now I've seen one of them with my own eyes. There's no room for doubt. The Shadowborn are real, and I'll be the one to reveal them. Are you sure it was one of the Shadowborn? I'm positive. As soon as I saw her, I spied she was one, so I followed her to try to get some answers. Then she attacked me. Are you sure you're all right? Yes, thanks to Celeste and Milana. Hmm? Oh, I almost forgot to introduce you. Yvonne, this is Celeste and this is Milana. They saved my life. Celeste, Milana, this is my friend Yvonne. She's been helping me with my research. It's a pleasure to meet both of you. Any friend of Ruby's is a friend of mine. What's with her arm and bandages? Is she secretly one of the Shadowborn and she has some kind of demon arm? Nice to meet you. We're working with Ruby because we seem to have a common goal. We need to find the girl who attacked her. Yeah, she stole an artifact Celeste was after. Artifact? You mean from the Acclaim? That's right. Just why were you after something so dangerous? I want the Ashen Order. Oh, a knight, are you? Squire, do your, your superiors know you're hunting a Shadowborn? It's complicated. Hmm. Personally, I find it highly intriguing that one of the Shadowborn took an artifact. Indeed, it raises many questions. We don't need any more questions, only answers. Can your research into the Shadowborn help us find Kilia or not? Why, someone is impatient? Don't mind her, she's always grumpy like that. Hmm. <laughs> she's right, though. We really need a lead on Kilia's location. Well, I don't know about her, spe her specifically, but if you're in luck. Ruby, it might be time for your big breakthrough. You mean there's been another sighting? Yes, rumors started circulating a few days ago. A young woman returned to town terrified and claimed a mysterious stranger tried to kill her. That could be any crazed killer. True, that's what most people think, but to those trained to see these signs, it sounds like one of the Shadowborn incidents. Through and through, we have to find this witness. Her name is Alicia, Alicia, if I remember correctly. She has brown hair and usually dresses in white. Oh, I think I've seen her before. Will this really help us? I'm sure it will. Alright, Len, let's find this witness. Any thoughts on where she might be? I've seen her in the, the town square before. If she's not there, maybe we can find someone who knows where she is. Any sign of her? Hmm. There, that girl matches the description we were given. It must be her. Hey, you there. Huh? You're the girl who saw one of the Shadowborn, right? Ah, it's alright. Yvonne told me us about it. We'd like to ask you a few questions. I didn't see anything. Huh? She sure looked like she's the person Yvonne described. It was her. Don't be ridiculous. She just didn't want to talk to us. She must be afraid because of the rumors surrounding the Shadowborn. What, so she thinks we're with them? Come on, let's go after her. She went into that building there. And then they... Ah! It's them again. It's okay, we're not your enemies. That's right, I'm one of the mages studying right here in Veritas. I'm surprised we've never met before. Is she telling the truth? I've seen her around before, I Don't know these other two, though. Then they must be the ones. Why are you afraid of us, girl? Who exactly do you think we are? No one. I didn't see anything, so there's no reason for you to bother me at all. You heard a lady. She didn't see nothing. Please, listen to us. I'm researching the Shadowborn, trying to prove they exist. Celeste here is on an important mission from the Ashen Order. The Ashen Order? Really? That's right. Huh, the Order sure is interested in Veritas, she says. I'm, out, I'm, I'm on the trail of one of the Shadowborn. It's absolutely vital that I find her. Don't worry about Volana either. She's working for us. Hmph. <laughs> I... Yes? No, I can't. I shouldn't have said anything to anyone. Ah, uh, what, what, what would it take for you to trust us? Even if you aren't with them, they'll still find out if I talk. They'll find out I, and then I'll disappear like Petrus's friend. Who is Petrus? No one, he's no one, and he never saw anything anyway. Come on, let's leave her be. But, ugh. Now what? It's okay, I know Petrus. If he, so if you had an encounter with the Shadowborn, you might be able to learn something from him. Follow me. Whoa, what sort of place is this? It doesn't seem to be a regular shop. Is this another enchanter place? You here to get some enchanting done too? Yup. Actually, we're looking for Petrus. Just a minute, I'll call him over, I'll call him. Petrus, you've got customers. Thank you. Sorry, I'm here. Here's the relic you wanted, Stella. Thanks, I'll let you back get back to work now. Now, how can I help? Oh, hello, Ruby. It's good to see you again. Is everything going well? Pretty good. I did better on my last test. Oh, good. I was worried about you. And what's this? It looks like you're managing a shop today. <laughs> That's right. Pretty grand, eh? Let them keep talking. We can't afford to let them talk a little bit. Besides, it might make him more inclined to help us. Yes, he must be getting good if they let you handle enchanting for the public. I don't know. I think of myself as the sort of a sort of the extra one, you know? I fill in when no one else wants to. Oh, that's still an important service. I was hoping Rhea would change her mind and come back, but I guess not. He knows Rhea. Oh, so he's an enchanter like her. The, this equipment here must all be for enchanting. She seems to be settling in well at, at Ancora. Oh, you came from Ancora, but I thought the Veritas Harbor was shut down. 
Yes, we have to cross through Gardor Cave to get here. Gardor Cave? Was it import that important for you to get back here? I've heard it going that way is awfully dangerous. You'd have to cross the desert and everything, wouldn't you? Yes, but it was very important. That's why we're here, actually. Oh, you need equipment enchanted for your journey? Well, maybe, but first we need to ask you something. What is it? We're searching for one of your the Shadowborn. What? Yvonne said a girl named Alicia saw one of them, but she's too scared to talk to us. She mentioned something about a friend of yours. You don't want to mess around the Shadowborn. I don't know what this is all about, but please stay out of their business. So you really do know something about them? No, and I'm happy to keep it that way. This is important. I'm with the Ashen Order. I don't care who we are. Besides, there's not much to tell. Yes, a few years ago, uh, Furious back, my uh, friend Roel claimed he witnessed two of the Shadowborn. The next day, he was gone. Could he have left on his own? He wouldn't have gone away without telling anyone. He disappeared, just like everyone else's Shadowborn deem a threat. And why didn't they disappear us yet? No wonder Alicia is too afraid to say anything. Who knows if he even saw them? He admitted he could barely make anything out in that blizzard. And yet they still came for him. Thank you, Petrus. Be careful, I don't want you to disappear. That was a waste of time. All we learned is that his friend disappeared, which we already knew. Maybe we should try talking to Alicia again. Let's see if she's still in Victor's shop. Mm, she's not here. You're free again? Didn't you get the hint the first time? Leave us alone. This is very important. Oof, Alicia is scared out of her mind because of you. She's afraid because of the Shadowborn, not us. Let me guess, next we'll say we're going to take care of the Shadowborn, so if we just cooperate, she won't need to be afraid. Hmm. Well, the second one is a lie because we do have to fight them to get the artifact back. Uh, yes, that's right. I don't believe you. There's only three of you. You aren't here to destroy the Shadowborn, even if you could find them. I have the backing of the Ashen Order, and the other knights didn't say anything about that. He's subtler than I am. Besides, you already said you were searching for one of the Shadowborn. If people already know Alicia saw one of the Shadowborn, what does it matter if she gives us a few more details? It could be the difference between life and death, so go borrow someone else. Risk your own lives as you must, but leave her alone. What is she to you? What? You seem quite concerned with protecting Alicia. Is she our daughter? She's just a girl who lives in town. Yet you're far more concerned for her life than for ours, even though you know Ruby. It's your, for your, own, it's your own business if you want to risk your heads. It doesn't give you the right to risk Alicia's. Is that the only reason? Fine, fine. If I tell you, will you leave me alone? Yes. Alicia was only out there because of me. She runs errands for me from time to time to earn extra money for her family. Oh yes, I knew I'd seen her before. Sometimes she does tasks at the academy too. A few days ago, asked her to check on the rumors that there was increased monster activity in Elshire. If something was going on, it could mean a rise in business. Increased monster activity? I hope this doesn't mean we have another artifact to deal with. And while she was out there, she saw something she thinks was one of the Shadowborn. That's what she says, so you see, if something happens to her, it's my fault. What exactly happened? She saw the movement from the corner of her eye, a figure dressed in a cloak slipping away. It distur that disturbed her. There have always been rumors in these parts of such things. Mysterious assassins that lurk in the shadows. So that's what people think of the Shadowborn. She immediately decided to leave, but she swears someone followed her all the way to the edge of Hellshire. I thought she said the person tried to kill her. She was hysterical by the time she got back to Veritas, with good reason. She's safe now, and she'd like to keep it that way. We understand. I promise we won't borrow eye review for, de for more details. We won't? We won't. Well, whatever you're doing, I hope it goes well for you. Don't die out there. Why do you make a promise like that? Yes, the girl might still have information. We can't afford to waste time. Ah, but we learned far more than either of you seem to realize. We did? Oh, we did. What we did learn about Alicia's... What did we learn about Alicia's incident in Elshire? We learned... Hmm, shoot. I don't think it, we have any specifics about what, where, what Kyle, where Kylia went. What the Shadowborn are looking for? Exactly. Of course, if what he said about why he sent Alicia into Elshire, it's the only thing that makes sense. It's no coincidence that Kylia stole the artifact from the forest. The person that Alicia saw there was, saw, was there to investigate the increased monster activity as well, to see if an artifact was responsible. Putting together Alicia's incident with what happened to Celeste, we can assume the Shadowborn are actively seeking the Aclimes artifacts. I see, they went to Elshire for the same reason Alicia did, due to the rumors of increased monster activity. Yes, I believe Kylia's actions were only part of the plan, while other Shadowborn operatives have been doing the same thing whenever an artifact appears. So if they got there quickly enough, they might even be able to grab them before reports reach the Ashen Order. Who knows how many artifacts the Shadowborn have obtained, and what could they possibly want of them? I don't like the thought of magical artifacts we still don't fully understand being in the hands of a sinister organization like that. And what good does this do us? I hope you aren't suggesting we sit around waiting for until another artifact shows up in just in case Kylia goes after it. No, of course not. Following Petrus's lead is much more interesting. 
Petrus's lead? You mean the blizzard? Yes, if all his friends saw- uh, 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 If all his friends saw was something was, uh, uh, that might have been the Shadowborn out in the blizzard where he could barely see anything, yet there was enough for them to silence him. And there must be something they were afraid of. The blizzard suggests the Orion Tundra. I said we go back to the academy, see if any other reports point toward the Orion Tundra, and then... No. Huh? We don't have time to waste more books in chasing around people who may or may not have information. Let's go to the Orion Tundra. We can check with the guards on the way. Hmm, we should probably get at least one teleport stone. Yeah. It's a lot of people. <sighs> Tempered Blade. Whoa! These are uh, overall upgrades, but they're expensive. Hmm. Alana can keep her current bow, though. Oh man. Magic Robes is weak. Hmm. Alright, got a lot of talking to do. Oh no! Relax, we're not going to ask you any more questions. Really? Really. And if the Shadowborn ever did come after you, we'd stop them. Don't I even say it. Good grief, how does this girl function in society if she's so scared all the time? Hey, you haven't heard the rumors I've heard. You have no idea what they're like. Hmph. <laughs> Don't worry, nothing's going to happen to you. Will you do me a favor? What does everyone... Why does everyone we meet ask that? What is it? Stop mentioning what happened. Sorry, what? Don't ask me any more questions about it. Don't apologize over it. Don't reference it at all. Let's just pretend it never happened. Is it really that serious? It is what that serious. I have no idea what she could be talking about. Do you, Valana? This is ridiculous. Fine, we didn't ask you anything. We never had a conversation, and we're just meeting you for the first time now. Nice to meet you. I'm Alicia. We know. No, we don't, because we just we're just meeting her for the first time now. This is idiotic. There's no way the Shadowborn is stupid enough to believe. I'm Ruby. This is Celeste, and that's Valana, who is rambling about things I'm sure you've never heard of. Oh yes, I was wondering what she could be talking about. That's it. Huh? Hey, come back. Do you really mean it when you said you wouldn't um, cause any more trouble for me? Of course we did. Then maybe you could help me with something. Why am I not surprised? What do you need? I'm putting on the play here in Veritas. It's called The Curse of Count Dravecki. It's a thrilling story about an innocent young maiden who encounters a terrifying creature of the night. Ooh, that sounds exciting. It sounds like the last thing I ever expected this girl to be interested in. I have high hopes for this story. I think it's what the people really want. So what do you want us to do? Put up advertisements about it? I want you to be in the play. Wait, what, huh, what, what, huh, wait, do you mean you want us to perform in it? That means dialogue choices. Yes, you'd be perfect for the parts. Ever since I saw the three of you, I've been asking myself if you might be the final three actress we need. Us, really? Yes, the main character is a noble knight, and you look like you were born to play the part. Well, I am a knight, or nearly one anyway. And you, me? You're the exact image of the beautiful maiden at the center of the plot. Oh my, I'm flattered, but I have no acting experience. Don't worry, you don't need any. We don't... How do you figure that? This is a reader's theater. That means the actors don't have to memorize lines or read costumes. You just read the script out loud and let the audience's imagination fill the rest. That doesn't sound too bad. Of course, some of our actors prefer to embellish the script to give it their own flair. Whether you want to do that or not is up to you. Sounds like you've got this covered. I'll be in the audience. Oh no, we need you. With your cold gaze, you're perfect for the role of the vampire. I don't know about this. We do have other things to do, you know. Here, I'll give you the script. You can look it over when every uh, free, some free time and let me know if you decide to do it. In other words, I better save before doing it because it's going to involve dialogue choices. Where is the script? And also, we get a vampire's ring, which makes me feel dumb for enchanting all my old gear. Shit. Oh well. You're not so bad after all. Thanks. Uh, so... Look over script. It can't hurt to take a look at the script Alicia gave us. I think being in a play sounds like fun. Let's see, this must be my character, Alwyn. Dashing young knight, always fights to protect people in need. Hey, wait a minute, this part was written for a boy. My character is also male, Count Trebecki, a vampire of the most dr melodramatic dialogue I've ever had the misfortune of reading. I'm playing a beautiful young woman who gets kidnapped by Count Trevecki. My lines look fine. Half your lines are just help. 
She seems very incapable of protecting herself. That's why she needs Celeste. Why was I cast as a boy? At least she didn't look at you and say, There's my melodramatic bloodthirsty monster. We're still going to do it, aren't we? Being in a play sounds like so much fun. You probably should at least let Alicia know we looked at the script. Hello again, have you thought about the play? We took a look at the script. And? It's beautiful. You do know I'm a girl, right? Yes, but you're the best person for the part of the night. Shouldn't you cast a boy in the part? There's no one available. This, this explains a lot. What about Petrus? He's playing a different role. Maybe the guy who runs the equipment store then? Victor will be busy managing the crowd. Hmm, then what about... It has to be you, Celeste, please. Can you at least rewrite the parts of the night as a girl? I told you, you can embellish your dialogue however you want. The script is more of a guideline. What kind of crazy theater is this? The audience should be gathering soon in the town square to watch, so just go to the center of the square whenever you're ready. Perform the play, the moment of truth. Well, I guess we're doing this. Look, those must be the other actors. Let's join them. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm so glad you're here. We're just about to get started. Exactly what would you have done if we didn't show up? Don't worry about that. Now, I need your name so I can introduce you to the audience. You're Celeste, right? That's right. This is Ruby, and that's Valana. Thank you. Did I even agree to do, to do this? Cheer up, this is going to be fun. Ugh. Welcome everyone to the Veritas Reader's Theater. Today we'll be performing an exciting new drama called The Curse of Count Trebecki. What a wonderful city. They even have theater. Is there going to be a CG for this? I hope this show is good. Our class got special permission to leave the academy for this. Whoa, a lot of people are actually coming to watch us. Today's stars are Celeste playing the role of Sir Aldwin. Ruby playing the sweet damsel Rosemary, and Volana playing the wicked Count Trebecki. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. And now, let's begin. Just like that, we've already started, at least we can look at the script. Oh my, what a dreadful stormy night. My lady, where did he come from, and why couldn't I play that role? There's someone at the door. In this where? Oh, we can't have that, hello? Good evening, I've come to... Yes? I'm not reading this. Um... Do you want to come inside? My, how pale you are. My lady, that is the wicked Count Trevecki. Oh no, Count Trevecki, why have you come? I guess Milana gave up on the script entirely. Help, help me. Oh, someone help. No, you can't take my lady away. Who can possibly save her now? Oh, that's me. Hello there, I was just riding up by, uh, by on my horse when I heard a most terrified scream. Who are you? I am Sir, uh, I'm Owen. I'm a knight errant who lives to serve people in need and fight to right injustices. And you must save Lady Rosemary. She's been kidnapped by the evil Count Trevecki. Count Trebecki, the vampire, when I was a young boy, a girl, my mother used to tell me stories of his evil deeds. I swear I will save Lady Rosemary from his evil embrace. Wow, where did he find such a pretty boy to play Sir Alwyn? A lot of actors are pretty, just look at the one they've got playing Trevecki. I'm a girl, you idiots. Help, help! Hang in there, Lady Rosemary, I've come to slay the vampire. Help! How about ye, fiend? Oh, the Count's terrible voice makes my blood run cold whenever I hear it. Uh, sure. Help me, brave knight, help me! Never fear, fair, fair lady, for I have one thing- uh, For I have with me the one thing that can destroy a vampire. A woven stake- wait, that can't be right. A wooden stake! Oh no, the one thing that can destroy a vampire! You have defeated me! The vampire is dead and you are safe again. My hero! And so, the brave Sir Elwyn proved victorious over the evil Count Trevecki. As for Elwyn and Rosemary, they lived happily ever after. This was probably the worst play the city has ever seen. I hope Alicia isn't too disappointed. Listen, about the play. Oh, that was wonderful. The three of you did such an incredible job. We did? Of course we did. Volana barely did anything, especially you, Volana. The cold, unimpressed stare you gave Celeste during the showdown was perfect. Yes, just like that. Well, I'm, I'm glad we could help. I hope you had a good time, because I certainly did. This makes up for everything. I know we got on the wrong foot, but now I'm happy you three came to read us. Oh, thanks. Now, I'll let you know right away if you get any fan mail. That seems exceedingly unlikely. So how good is this vampire ring? Oh, hey, this includes MP regen. And hit point regen. Both regens, actually. Hmm. Wait, your name is Stella, right? That's my name. Why, are you fond of it? I always thought it was a nice name myself, although I, when I was younger, there were times when I wanted a different name. Actually, I have a message for you. A message for me? There's a fisherman in Cora named Grady. He says you ordered some fish from him. Oh, of course. Grady is such a sweet old man, isn't he? Uh, if you say so. Sweet. Grady? 
Anyway, he says your fish will be late because of the Veritas Harbor being closed, but we'll ship it as soon as the harbor reopens. You also get a discount in price because of the delay. Oh good, I love discounts. Please let Ray know I completely understand and will wait as long as it takes. I will. So do you sell fish? Perhaps takoyaki? Don't tell me you're hungry. I don't sell fish. Why would you think that? Didn't you order an entire shipment? That's for me. An entire shipment? A girl's gotta eat. Wait, you have another quest. Oh, yes? You're travelers, aren't you? That's right. I'm Celeste, that's Ruby, and that's Milana. We came from Ancora. Well, these two did. Actually, I studied the, uh, here in Veritas first, then traveled to Ancora, then came back here with them. That's so exciting. I love when travelers come by. Because you think we'll buy something? Mm oh no, actually it's the opposite. When I see travelers like you, I hope with all my heart that you'll sell something. What? That doesn't make any s that doesn't make sense. You see, in addition to selling items here in Veritas, I'm also a collector. So what do you collect? Yes. Huh? I collect anything and everything. Nothing makes me happier than getting my hands on a new item I've never seen before. Taking it home with me and putting it in my collection. Great, the merchant is a lunatic. I want to buy things from you. Is there anything in particular you're looking for, or... Well, I wouldn't want to buy something I already have, of course. That wouldn't make much sense. Anything else is fair game. Even weapons? Ooh, I love seeing new weapons. Victor gets all fussy when I enter his shop, like he thinks I'm going to break something. Crap, I lost that bow. That means I won't be able to complete uh, whatever collection quest she's got. Or take something for your collection. I would never steal something. That's why I can't wait to see what you have to sell me. If we find anything we don't need, we'll stop by. Damn it. I screw- I already lost this entire quest. Oh no, I, ju I just have to sell- I'm sorry, we're gonna stop by if you have anything you want to sell. Are you running a business? Oh right, stop by if you want to buy anything too. So you run the normal item shop, huh? So, all you got are a bunch of healing stuff. Anything here that's worthless enough to sell to you. I have like a bunch of shield rings. That's one, but... They all have to be unique. I don't need a second protector ring, honestly. probably sell like yeah green leaves that counts right yes it does I can just sell all the stuff I have or I already have a decent amount of old wood gray ooze damp moss don't sell the rare stuff of course eh. cobwebs because I probably uh, have a lot more spiders to fight. Glowing crystal. Haha! -ha! Cheesing my way to victory. Okay. I've sold you, uh, you quite a few things now. How do you like them? They're incredible. Really? I didn't think they were that special. My collection is better than ever, but I've also found something wonderful. What's that? I found a fellow collector. You have? Of course. How else would you have obtained so many wonderful items to sell me? Wait, me? Celeste isn't a collector, she just has a compulsive urge to pick up any object she, she sees. Hey! Ah, oh, a true kindred spirit. I'm not sure how selling things to you makes me a collector. Seems like the opposite, really. Oh, that reminds me, here. Oh, but you already paid me for the items. This is a bonus, since I now have a complete set. Complete sets are always worth more, you know? Set, I sold you random items. The woman is clearly delusional. Now just take the money and go. Uh... Wow, that was it, huh? I was getting nervous there. Life shard. Welcome to Rita. Don't cause any trouble for us, and we won't cause any trouble for you. That's a good policy. Are you a soldier? I'm a sentry. I keep watch from the sea walls to make sure things are safe. Has there been much danger lately? We heard the harbor is closed. Lots of strange rumors coming out of Elshire, but the sea has been safe. I'm glad I hear that. Have you seen a girl with white hair come this way? I'm afraid it's impossible to keep track of everyone who passes through Veritas. Why, is she a criminal? Yeah, she's a thief. She's also one of the Shadowborn. Shadowborn, you expect me to believe that fairy tale stuff? Well, Shadowborn or not, she's still a thief. I'll keep a lookout for her. Thanks for the alert. Let us know if you see her. You take care now. Don't go anywhere too dangerous. Huh? What? That's my question. You walked up to me just like now like you wanted to say something. Oh, I'm new in Veritas, and I was just wondering how you're doing. Why? Well, if you had anything you needed help, help with, I'd be glad to offer assistance. I don't even know you. Do you always walk up to complete strangers and start asking questions? 
Don't mind her, she can't help herself. It's a compulsion. I wish she wouldn't say things like that. Typical JRPG protag. You prefer for him to see you as a creepy meddler? No. Where are you? Oh right, you're the one with the compulsion. I do not have a compulsion. Don't worry, I'm sure everything will be okay. Oh, I can tell by the gleam in your eyes that you're a visitor to Veritas, just like I am. That's right. It's a wonderful city. What brings you here? Knowledge. I've traveled far and wide seeking out knowledge. True knowledge, that is. It's astonishing what some people will believe. What do you mean? I met one man who says there's a tower that reaches up to the heavens and a woman who believes there's another world up in the sky. Seriously? If they believe that, I have a bridge they might want to buy. Nothing I said could convince them otherwise, but sometimes I wonder, is there any truth to it? Definitely not. Hey, I've heard weirder things. Why am I not surprised? Regardless, I'm at Veritas at last, where truth and knowledge are the foundation of the city. I'm sure you'll find your answers here. Hey, you said you've traveled a lot, right? Yes, I've been all over the world. Have you ever met a luck expert? A what? A luck expert, someone who knows all about how to turn bad luck into good luck. The only people I've met who talk about such things believe in all sorts of absurdities. Hardly what I call experts. That's what I was afraid of. Thanks anyway. We should probably let Morgan know that luck experts aren't as common as he seems to think. Ah, oh, city of truth and knowledge. Welcome, I'm here for all your enchanting needs. Oh, it's you again. What can I help you with? This is the Enchanter's Hall, right? That's right. Ray sent us with a delivery. Oh, that's right. We were expecting a package from Ancora. Here it is. Thank you. This is exactly what we needed. Let me pay you for your trouble. Not a bad job, considering we were on our way here anyway. Is that why Rhea asked you to do it? I'm surprised she didn't just wait for the harbor to open and send it that way. We're friends with Rhea, so she asked us to do it as a favor. Wow, really? So not only are you Ruby's friends, you also got to know Rhea. Small world, isn't it? It's not that big of a coincidence when you consider she's an enchanter. Well, that's true. She's doing okay for herself then. Yep, she set up shopping in Korra and things seem to be going pretty well. Though her stock is not up to date with the one in Veritas. I'm glad. When she first came to stay here, she seemed so out of place. It wasn't long before she was far ahead of all of us. Don't worry, someday you'll be just as good as Rhea. Uh, it's not a competition. I was just worried about her being on her own out there in Korra. I guess I should have known she'd adjust. Next time I see Rhea, I'll let her know you were asking about her. Thanks. You have another request for me? Hey, you wouldn't happen to have business in the Orient Tundra, do you? As a matter of fact, we do. Why? Do you get me some snow? What? I'm writing a paper on regions for my class and I realize no one has done an in-depth study on the use of snow in ice as regions. But they're just water. Oh, you could end up being the first one. My thoughts exactly. If I discover something special about them, I could end up making a huge breakthrough. Can you get your own snow? Not when I've been placed in charge of helping customers. Please, can you do this for me? Well, we might be able to get some snow for you while we're in the Orient Tundra. It'll just turn to water by the time we get back, unless we have a cooler. Great, about 10 handfuls or so should do it. Oh, can you get some ice, maybe eight of those nice big icicles? We'll see what we can do. Why does everyone see us as our personal delivery men? Seriously, snow. Hmm. Do you have any snow nice yet? Not yet. Hurry back, okay? I want to start writing this paper. Hey there, don't you mind me, I'm just doing some work. What do you do here? Keep the keep the enchanting equipment maintained. Make sure nothing blows up, that sort of thing. Are you an enchanter? Ha, huh, nope, not me. Doesn't it make you want to learn? I think if I'm sur surrounded by enchanters all day long, I'd be dying to try it myself. Now nah, it doesn't appeal to me. Just give me some stuff to fix and I'm happy. I wouldn't think enchanting would require that much maintenance. You'd be surprised. When the students start enchanting things, the results can get pretty messy. Things look pr are looking good today. I see her back. We're not here to bar you. Then what do you want? That's a fine way to talk to paying customers. Hmm. We already promised not to bar you or Alicia about the incident anymore. That you did. Looks like he hasn't quite given us a second chance yet. Look, if your customer is fine, buy something. If not, get going. No sense in hanging around here. Come on, I bought two of your high-end weapons. What an attitude. Just finish, finish your business here and move on. Hmm, but unorthodox bow is not really worth it, is it? 14 nor... Normal attack. Hmm. I feel like in overall points, my current advanced recurve bow is better. And magic robes is inferior to all of my armor. Hmm. That was weird. Oh, 
Hawk, you two have quests. Did you talk to Alicia? Yes, but she refused to tell us anything. How unfortunate. She's afraid. After everything I've heard about the Shadowborn, I can understand that. Maybe if we convince her how important this is. No, I don't want to frighten her any further. Besides, if something really did happen to her because of us, I'd feel terrible about it. That's our Ruby, always putting others first. Still, sometimes you have to think of yourself. Not this time. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We have a new lead we're following. Oh? We have reason to believe the Shadowborn are hiding something in the Orient Tundra. How fascinating. I admit, I'm a little envious. Huh? You won't, you've only been in Rita a short while, but already you're closer to learning about the Shadowborn than Ruby and I ever got on our own. I need to get that artifact back. If we didn't find this lead, I'd just keep asking around until I learned something. Your mission is that important to you? Yes. And I wish you all luck in the world. May fortune smile upon you. Hey, you're a scholar like Ruby, right? Do you know anything about ancient languages? I know a thing or two about them, yes. Here, we found this in the Zebi Desert. Oh my. Wow, Yvonne, I didn't think I'd ever, I've ever seen you look so excited before. This is truly ancient. You say you found it in the desert. Yeah, I figured the wind must have unburied it. This is incredible. To find something like this in such good condition. Can you read it? That will take some time, but I can tell you it appears to be a, an Azurian text. Azurian? Oh wow, is it really? You've heard of it. The Kingdom of Azuria is mentioned in ancient records as being a pre-cataclysm civilization. Pre-cataclysm? I knew the paper was old, but I didn't realize it was that old. This might mean there are Aklime texts that survived too. But too. I'd like to keep this paper to study it further, if that's alright with you. Sure, I was hoping I'd find someone who could read it. Hey, when you're, you were talking to us earlier, you wish us luck, right? Of course. I don't suppose you'd study luck, have you? What? We're looking for a luck expert. A what? There's this poor, unlucky fisherman we know, and he's looking for someone who can help him turn his luck around. I see. I've heard of people carrying lucky charms or performing special rituals that think will improve their luck, but I've never studied that sort of thing. Thanks anyway, we'll keep looking. If you need anything, uh, help with anything, just say the word. We will. Okay, deep breaths. Ah. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. No, it's okay. I was just concentrating. How are you doing, Sonya? Oh, Ruby, I didn't realize it was you. I'm doing okay. Are your things going any better? Well, um, actually, I messed up pretty badly this time. Don't worry, Instructor Farpam knows you've been having uh, trouble with your magic. I'm sure he'll be patient. It's not him I'm worried about, it's Victor. From the equipment shop, what does he have to do with anything? See, I went there the other day to pick up a new training staff, and I sort of wanted to try it out, and I kind of set fire to the shop. You what? No wonder he was in a bad mood. Well, and I thought we were the ones causing trouble around here. I didn't mean to do it, but I'm afraid he hates me now. Oh, I'm sure he doesn't hate you, Sonya. We'll talk to him, right, everyone? Sure, couldn't hurt to put in a good word, good, good word for her the next time we're at the shop. Thank you so much. I know I'll get it right this time, I just need to keep practicing. Just keep practicing. Got everyone's stats up pretty high now. I hope this is good enough for the next boss, but... Celeste seems to be way... Uh, I kind of put all my good stuff on Celeste, so now she's OP compared to everyone else. Maybe I could... If I have enough, get more money, maybe I could stick some more en enchantments on the spare equipment here. Hmm. So I heard you had a little trouble here the other day. You better not start asking more questions. Ruby, maybe you should handle this one. We were just at the academy and Sonya told us what happened. Sonya, oh, the matron lights things on fire. She didn't mean to do it, she's just a little accident prone. What do you want me to do, apologize for yelling at her? Yell at her about it? No wonder he, she was so upset. Then again, anyone would probably shout if their store was set on fire. Sonya was afraid you hate her. Pretty strong word of their hate. So then you don't hate her? Got nothing against her as a person. I just don't want her in my shop anymore. I'm sure she'll understand. Hmm. We talked to Victor about what happened. And he hates me, right? No, he just thinks you're a menace. Milana, he doesn't hate you. Really? You're sure? I'm sure, but uh, he doesn't want you to come to the shop anymore, either. Oh no, what am I going to do the next time I need a new training staff? Get, ask someone else to uh, buy you one. See, re is replacing your training staff that common? Why well, do I have a feeling this girl breaks hers somehow? I know, I'll make it up to him. I, I bet the shop sells what I need. What are you planning? It's a secret, don't worry, I know how- I know this will work. Kaboom! We're going to buy something- uh, she's going to buy something at the item shop, huh? Why do I have a bad feeling about this? <laughs> there really is a marker at the item shop. Poor Stella. Heck, what's that smell? Sorry, sorry, that's from the smoke. Ha hasn't quite cleared out yet. The smoke? Oh no, don't tell me this is Sonya's fault. Maybe? It was one of the students from the academy. She came in asking about buying some fireproofing materials. So I started to show her a few things, and next thing I knew, they were on fire. Oh no. Wait, she set your fireproofing materials on fire? 
Yep, it was kind of exciting, actually. I didn't charge her for the damages, because scorched fireproofing materials are probably rare enough to be valuable, you know? Uh, if you say so. Where did Sonya go after that? She ran out crying about how she figured this out and make it up to both of us. I'm not sure who the other half of us is, but I guess that's what the fireproofing was about. Yeah, she set Victor's shop on fire, too. Ha, <laughs> oh, it's not funny. I do wish I could have seen his face, though. We had better go back to the academy and tell Sonya to stop doing things like this. Oh, she just wants to make things right. That girl's a danger to herself and others. Hey, Sonya, we, um, heard about what happened. I can't believe it. What am I doing wrong? As soon as I figure this out, I swear I'll make it up to both of them. Maybe if I go to the Enchanter's Hall... <laughs> Oh no. Don't burn all the scrolls. I might need to buy them someday. No. Whoa, why are all of you shouting like that? We just want to, we just think it's better for you to focus on learning how to control your magic before you do anything else. And you really shouldn't demonstrate your magic anywhere until you have that part down. The entire city will thank you for it. But then how will I make up for what happened? Don't worry, Sonya, you'll master your magic in no time. Once you do, there will be plenty of time to make amends to both Victor and Stella. You really think so? I'm sure of it. Aw, uh, thanks. I'm going to try my hardest to master my magic. That's the spirit. Unbelievable. Uh. Pyrotechnic staff? What? Oh man, now I feel like an idiot for buying that equipment for Ruby. It's superior in every way to innovative staff, other than Max Mana. But she has MP regen anyways. So that can do much more than set things on fire, just not in the hands of its original owner. Okay. Good thing I didn't put any enchantments on the other staff I bought, but I'm gonna have to kill enemies to make up for the losses. Hey, that console over there actually looks... There's some kind of console over there. It looks like a touch screen. Almost looks like a... I feel like they should be putting, like, a controller, uh, an Xbox 360 controller or something on there. I don't know why. Okay, that is everyone in town. I may have to return to Ancora to report in other quests. Have you found the luck expert yet? About that, I'm not sure there is such a thing. What? I spoke to someone who travels a lot, and he said he's never met a credible luck expert. This is terrible. What am I going to do? Why not try learning how to fish? I've studied everything about fishing. I just need a way to turn this awful luck of mine around. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. It's not your fault. I'll just have to approach this problem from another angle. Maybe if I found a class on, a class on fishing. I talked to Stella, and she says she completely understands the situation. Glad to hear it. She's one of my best customers. How often does she order fish? Just about the weekly. But only part of the shipment is for her, right? Nope, she orders 20 pounds every time. Figures she must be selling it, but as long as I'm her supplier, that's fine with me. 20 pounds of fish every week. I like fish a lot, but... What's wrong with you? You look like you're about to be sick. We'll take care of her. Come on, Ruby. Try, let's try not to think about all that fish. Hey, do you find out about why the harbor is closed yet? Was I supposed to? I thought that's what you people do. I know I took care of Ancora's goblin situation, but that was because it was directly related to my own business. If Harbor keeps shutting down, it'll be everybody's business. Let's worry about that if it happens. Hey, you all have new dialogue. Everyone here too. Did I talk to you before? You're back. Yeah, we decided to come back for a little while before we continue our work and read us. Do you find the girl you were searching for? Not yet. We're making progress though. I'm glad to hear it. How are things here? Pretty peaceful compared to how they have been lately. The goblins have been staying in the forest and nothing else has come up. Good. How did things go and read us? Good so far. We didn't go back, though. Do you find the person you're chasing? Not yet. Now we're trying to pick up leads in the show on the shadow board. The what? The shadow board are a mysterious organization that many believe to be mythical, however. Great, now we'll be here all day. Ruby, it's safe to tell people about the shadow board? Alicia and Petrus both seem pretty spooked by the idea. Oh, you're probably right. What is it? Oh, nothing. Just forget what I said anything. I wouldn't want you to disappear, after all. Somehow being a guard sounds a lot safer than whatever you've been, uh, been involved in. That's probably true. Just let us know if anything weird happens, okay? Of course, you're my go-to people for problem solving. Great. Are you young people finally taking some time to relax? Hmm, I guess we are taking a break in a way. I don't know if I'd call trekking back and forth between Rita's and Ankara taking a break. I call it wasting time. Sounds like we should get back to it. 
You want to relax while you're still young. You three look exhausted. We went to Marina's on foot. Then we came back for some reason. No wonder you look so tired. That must have been a terrible journey. It wasn't so bad. You mean you'd do it again? We have to. We still have business in that region. Oh my. Yeah, even though it's it, it's quick travel for us, it's slow travel for everyone else. Heh <laughs> We made that delivery to the Enchanter's Hall like you asked. Thank you. Petrus was asking about you. Oh, how's he doing? He's fine. He said he did better on his last test. I had no idea you two were friends. I'm glad he's doing well. It feels strange being so far away from everyone, but at least we can still keep in touch. So what's the redust like? It's huge. It's too crowded. It's beautiful, but I could have told you that any time. What's the market like? Does anyone sell- someone sell weapons there? Of course. We actually got to meet the owner of the equipment shop. Oh, does it look like he made a lot of sales? Sure, I guess. I wasn't really paying attention to that, but I guess he does a good business there. Hmm. He's playing something. We'll talk more later. I have something to think about. Knew it. Maybe you'll get- uh, actually upgrade your inventory? Did you actually travel to Marinas on foot? We didn't have much of a choice. Not much of a- uh, you could've just stayed here. This was important. You people. Why is he acting like we did him a personal inconvenience by traveling to Veritas? Wait, was he worried about us, even though he tried to scam us? Nah, it couldn't be. He doesn't have a single... Uh, 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 bit of, uh, uh, he doesn't have any c uh, compassion in his heart. I don't think he does, at least. Okay. Nothing new. You guys are old news. Weak. So weak. Go to Tundra now. Hmm. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Eternal Radiance. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.